Hey, I'm Dango from Amber Pacific, and today I'm going to talk to you about the song Bleed America, and this is by the band Jimmy Eat World. Now, this is off their fourth album called Bleed America, and this album came out in 2001. The drummer is Zach Lind. Uh, he plays very simple, but he plays really great parts for the songs. He really supports the song well. He plays with a really good groove, and this guy I kind of look at as one of those modern-day Ringos because he plays on a lot of pop songs and does things that really fit well. They're easy to play, but very tasteful, and sometimes he'll still think outside of the box and throw something in that you might not think of. So I really like listening to this guy. Okay, let's hit the intro to the song, Bleed America. It's really aggressive, it's easy to play on the drums, and what uh, Zach's playing is downbeats. Now that means you're playing the snare on one, two, three, and four. And what's kind of cool is that he's not playing any cymbals on this whole intro until the very end of it. He's playing flams on the snare drum. Now what a flam is, is when you hit the sticks almost together, but one slightly before the other. And so instead of just exactly at the same time, you play. <laughs> If you slow it down, it would be... But an actual flam, you don't slow it down. You've got to play them tight. But you hear rock guys do this all the time. Dave Grohl's notorious for doing this. And this is the kind of thing where a lot of drummers will put it in. So we'll play downbeats with the kick drum hitting on the offbeat. And this is how it comes in with real heavy guitars. It's just playing one and two and three and four and, but snare on the downbeat, kick drum is playing on the offbeat. So let's play that at tempo. Now to practice this intro, I would suggest this is a really good way to work on your flams and probably a good way to work on your rim shot. Now what a rim shot is, is a whole nother thing and that's when you're hitting the rim and the drum at the same time. Now most guys in rock play this way, especially guys that record. And so here's the snare hit without, and then with a rim shot. And you hear a different difference. It makes the drum sound a lot thicker. So most rock beats, you want a rim shot. So now when we're doing a flam, we're doing a two-handed rim shot. So this is a great thing to practice. If you're not comfortable doing it, take an intro like this. It's easy to play, but it sounds cool. Another way you could work on it is play flams, but just alternate which hand leads. Another good exercise. So as we get to the end of that intro, one and two and three and four and, and then he opens the hi-hat like that on the end. Now coming out of those downbeats, he opens the hi-hat, and then we start into the next section with the fill that's just an accent on the snare, so. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And then it's a tight closed hi-hat to go into the verse. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that. We've got more clips available at howtoplayanysong.com, so please check us out. Feel free to request any song you'd like to hear. We hope you enjoyed it.